To God be the glory. <laughs> amen and amen. You know, the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Timothy, I believe it is, and it says that what? I believe in chapter 2. And it says we should raise up petitions for those in authorities. And we have to understand that we have to continue to pray for our leaders, you know, the apostles, the prophets, the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, and also those in the body who are basically doing the will of the Father. We have to, because for all that is happening upon creation, the Bible says that what? Our brothers and sisters, they are going through the same trials that is happening upon the earth. Amen? So, I believe the Lord gave me this revelation and I just want to release it onto the body. There is this apostle, I believe, in Nigeria. His name is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. You know, um, for whatever reason in this hour, what the Father was revealing is this. You know, I saw like I was, I was, I was in a classroom and there was something about to happen in that dimension. But I left that classroom and I was walking along the corridor. And as I was walking along the corridor, I was made to look through a window. You know, I was just made to look through this window. And as I looked through the window, I saw lots of police. There were so much police all around. And in that moment, I saw like, you know, there were people behind him, children and all manners of adults at the same time. They were all lined up behind him. And I believe they were releasing accusations, whatever it is. But for him, he was being arrested. So I don't know what his offense or whatever he did, but he was being what? He was being arrested. The police basically arrested him. Yes. So it's a thing that the father, so I say it with confidence, it's a thing the father has allowed in this hour. So he's going to be arrested, but it's a place that, you know, you have to understand that the Lord loves this man. The Lord loves him. The Lord loves loves and loves him. So it's a place that we have to what? Please be intentional to be in prayer for him in this hour. That, you know, the mercy of God will triumph over every judgment. That the mercy, the mercy, because he says, be merciful for you also will obtain mercy because the Lord loves him so very much. So let's just continue to pray the mercy of God. We triumph over judgment over him and just continue to keep him in prayer. That whatever it is that the Father has allowed in this hour for this to happen, that the Lord will show mercy concerning in any case that has risen concerning him. So we bless him with the mercy of God and we declare that the Father will continue to be with him and the name of the Father continues to be glorified all around him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. So please continue to lift him up in prayer and the Lord will continue what? To bless you um, for the work of your hands and for that in which you're doing for the body in Jesus' mighty name. So uh, uh, we just, we just, I just release that to the glory of the Lord. God bless each and every one of you and you all are amazing because you're the blessedness of the one who has called you from the beginning amen i love you all blessings